Hi guys, so today's video is going to be the highly requested what is in my travel makeup bag. So my last video, which was a while ago, I apologize for that, I was on vacation and then just had to get myself together and get back on track when I got back. So anyways, that video that I made was a pack with me video and you guys seem to love that and I didn't show the makeup that I was packing but I said I would do a separate video on it if it was requested and I got a lot of requests for it so... Here I am doing it for you guys. I think these videos are so fun, so I'm excited to go through this little bag full of my favorite makeup products. Because you know the products you pack are the ones that are your absolute favorites. You're about to see my go-to must-have makeup products. And yeah, let's get started. Before I begin, though, I want to show you the self-tan that I used while I was on vacation in Florida. I was going to show this in my other video, but it didn't come in time. It came just in time, like the day before I left for vacation, so I did get to use it, and it was so amazing. This is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I got mine in dark. I've heard so many people talk about this, and I wanted to give it a shot myself. It worked so well. It gave, like, the perfect color. It wasn't, like, a muddy dark, but it was just, like, a very nice olive skin toned tan, which was so beautiful and it made me feel more confident because I just hate feeling white especially in like a vacation area and everybody's tan and I'm just like a snowflake I don't I'm not feeling that I'm just gonna have a quick demo of how I actually use this tanner like going over me talking right now but the most important step is to use a mitt and this one is one of the best that I've ever used because it's soft it's so soft so it like blends in your skin so nicely there's kinds that are I don't even know the material but it just like gets caught and leaves streaks, but this is the best mint I've ever tried. If you're looking for a self-tanner, Loving Tan is the way to go. Now let's get into what is in my makeup bag. So, I was thinking I was just going to go by, like, face, eyes, lips, but it's really just everywhere. So I'm just going to pull things out and show you what I got. So the first thing in here is my Scandinavia Makeup Finish Setting Spray. This is the bridal kind. I got this before I went on vacation because... My makeup has a problem with not lasting and I needed something that would work and I asked my friend Adiel, she has a YouTube, I'll have it linked down below. I asked her because her makeup always looks perfect and lasts a whole day and she said this is what does it. So I bought it and it does work. It is kind of expensive but it works. <laughs> I go crazy with the lip products. I just, uh, there's so many options and lips is like my favorite thing about makeup so. I brought the Kylie Gloss in the shade Literally, I think, yeah, Literally. I brought two Lumiere lippy sticks. One is in Aquarius and one is in Lumiere. These are my two favorite. I love the lippy sticks more than any ColourPop product. Definitely recommend. They're like $5. They have very nice, neutral, like everyday, perfect lip colors. So these are two of my favorites. Then I have a MAC lipstick. This is in the shade Midi Mauve. It's just like a nice kind of luster sheen. It's just an mauve color that's perfect for everyday wear and to just like quickly throw on. Then I brought one liquid lipstick and this is by Ofra in the shade Pasadena. This is a very nice mauve color that's a, that is a little bit more on the darker side so I love this one. I brought a lip liner. This is by NYX. It's the NYX Suede in the shade Whipped Caviar. This is perfect. I love lip liners. Then I brought one gloss because I do like the glossy lip and this is by Cargo Cosmetics and it's just like this kind of goldy bronze shade in Umbria. It's pretty and nice to throw over just chapstick or your nice to just throw over chapstick or your lip product. Then I brought two eyeshadow palettes and these are both by Lorac. The first one is the Lorac Unzip palette and this is more of a warm kind of rosy shade palette which is so beautiful. I love this so much. It has a perfect amount of shimmery shades and then matte so you can really create a lot of different looks with this. Then I also brought this one which has been my go-to for like several years. This is just the Lorac Pro palette. I've hit pan on like all my favorite shades unfortunately. So I did kind of use this one more, but they're both great palettes. I brought two eyeshadow primers. The first one is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just like a clear primer. And then I brought the Urban Decay one in Sin, and this is like a champagne one. So if I'm going to do a matte look, I use this. If I'm going to do a shimmery look, I use this one. For bronzer and blush, I brought two products from Benefit. The bronzer is Hoola. You guys have probably heard about this. It's like the most amazing bronzer ever. I've used this for like two years straight. Super amazing, and I found my new favorite blush, which is the Rockateur. This is like a rose gold kind of shade. It's just perfect for every day. It has a great little shimmer to it, um, and it smells like perfume, so that's awesome. For highlight, I brought my Ofra Cosmetics highlight in Rode Rodeo Drive. I almost said Rodeo. Definitely wrong. <laughs> this is the most beautiful highlight ever. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell, but I absolutely love this. It's so good. It's beautiful. Ugh. 
For my foundations, I decided to bring one foundation and then one BB cream just for um, the days that I don't want to wear as much makeup, like to the pool or something. This is the Rimmel London BB Cream 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup in the Radiance. So this just kind of gives you a nice glow. I love this. It's one of my favorite BB creams. And for foundation, I use the By Terry Light Expert um, click brush so pretty much it's just like this and you click it at the bottom and just like stripe it on your face and then I just blend it in with the beauty blender this gives you such a flawless look to your skin without looking cakey I love this so much and I highly recommend it just brought one concealer but this is my all-time favorite it's the Maybelline instant age rewind go to like if I feel like my makeup gets like bad throughout the day I just put some of this underneath my eyes blend it in and then like boom you just look better I don't know what it does but it's magic also, going back to eyes, apparently, we have the eyeliner that I brought. This is the Maybelline Master Precise. It's just a liquid eyeliner. It's more of like a pen, kind of like the Stila, but I think they work the same, and this is much cheaper. For mascara, I just brought one, and this is Maybelline The Rocket. This is my go-to favorite mascara. That's my all-time favorite mascara. I always try out different ones, but they never, like, can compete with The Rocket. It's so good. Alright, last two things. This is my makeup primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I use this some days if I like really want my makeup to look really good. I'll use this, but it's kind of unnecessary sometimes. And I ended up never using this just because my skin wasn't like too oily. I've not been using powder recently. I don't know why I've been able to do that. But this is the Your Minerals Sweden like Transparent Veil. So I was going to use this to bake, but I was also scared that it would like leave like white when I took a flash picture so yeah I didn't really use this but here's powder. <laughs> I also wanted to mention the nail polish that I wore the whole trip. This is OPI's Infinite Shine in the shade Getting Naughty on my honeymoon. This is the perfect pink color. It's so pretty. It's more of like a cool toned. I had this on my toes and my fingernails and I just love it. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's from their new Fiji line which has all of these super pretty summer colors. So that is everything that was in my travel makeup bag. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know some requests down below and make sure to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also follow me on all my social medias and Snapchat. I love Snapchatting you guys back. It's so fun. So I'll have my code here and we can have some fun conversations. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!